Hey, if you're stuck on deciding what website builder to use for your web design business, let me give you three tips to help you out. Number one, let's look at the tool itself. Do you enjoy using that builder? Do you enjoy being inside the builder? Do you find it fun? Do you like the UX? Is it user friendly for you? Do you want to actually dive in and use that builder every day? That is key because there's nothing worse than deciding on a tool that you're gonna dread diving into weeks and weeks and months and months and years down the road. So you need to make sure you enjoy the tool itself. Also, when it comes to the tool, do you see it growing with you and do you see growing with it moving forward? Like has the company behind the tool, have they been innovating it? Is there a, a roadmap ahead of really cool features that are coming? Are they staying true to best practices and web design? Make sure you do some research on the tool, not only that you trust it, but that you actually enjoy it as well. That's key number one. Key number two, Let's look at the community behind the tool. Does the tool have a community that's supportive and large enough to help you when you get stuck, which is inevitably going to happen? And additionally, do you like that community? Do you find that community to be welcoming? Some communities for tools, whether it's WordPress or whatever it is, are going to have meetups and things where you can really engage alongside with like Facebook groups and forums. I've been using Divi since 2014. And one of the main reasons I've enjoyed Divi is the community behind it. It's been super empowering for me and I want the same for you. Now you don't have to choose Divi, but whether it's a WordPress theme or Squarespace or show it or whatever the heck it is, do you like the community? Is it large enough to support you? Remember too, when it comes to the community, is it gonna help you scale if you decide to grow your web design business and hire some work out? You wanna make sure you have a pool of designers you could potentially get some help with as you and your business scales as well. So the community behind it, that's the second big tip. The final one, number three here, is the company behind the platform. One thing that people often overlook is that website builders are built by a company. It's not just the builder and the tool that you're looking at, but it's the people behind it. Like what is that company's track record? Are they trusted? Is it a company that was self-funded and from the ground up, like the folks at Elegant Themes, which are behind my favorite builder, Divi? Or is it a company that is like Fortune 500 and has investors and things like that? There's nothing wrong with that, but it's something to consider because they may eventually be bought out. And do you trust that? What does the roadmap look like for the company as well? We just talked about not only the tool itself, but the community behind it. Is that company fostering community and a really good supportive network behind that tool? That's another big key. So I would do some research on those three things. As a quick recap, the tool itself, do you enjoy it overall? Do you see growing with it and it growing with you? Number two, look at the community behind it. Do you like the people that you've met behind there? What does their support system look like? And number three, the company itself. Do you trust that company? Do they have a good track record? And do you see yourself being well taken care of by investing in their tool? So there you go, friends. Those are my top three keys when it comes to choosing the right website builder for your web design business. I hope this has helped. I hope this helps give you some things to think about, to look at, because you wanna make sure you choose the right tool for you and your setup before you start to grow your business and you have a bunch of tools that you gotta end up replacing. Nobody wants to do that, I know. So, hope this helps. Make sure to subscribe below for the next video and if I can help you out in any other way, check down below because there'll be some additional resources for you. See you on the next video.